his camera before. We, so. We certainly would have heard about it if he were dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do want to say if I were ever dead, it was in the world. If I were ever dead, it was in the world because I was just uh, a success just really um, affects some people negatively. I, I don't know why, uh, but I was the Elvis. I was the Kurt Cobain. I was the DJ Screw. I was the guy that, that, that success kept uh, intoxicated and high every day, just just drowned in it. I'm not sure what it is. I, I think maybe it's uh, feeling undeserving of it and just needing to kill the mood with uh, plenty of you know drugs and alcohol or, or what, but uh, I was definitely very lost, half dead, half out of my mind. And so I think that this is a good thing. I think that uh, 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 that God's going to use this situation to, to save me from, from what I was. And even though I'm here for a crime I didn't do, I believe it's a blessing that I'm here because I just really was, and, and a terrible husband to my, to my wife also, who's just such an incredible woman and deserves so much better. And who I am today is much more uh, what she deserves and than who I was out in the world and the good news for the fans is I'm writing the best stuff I believe that I've ever written and um, it, it doesn't stop the last year violinist is just the uh, It's just the beginning we're going to the son of Norma and then we're going to uh, To the third album and uh, and then a book comes you know with each uh, After each album the last year violinist book. I, I'm about 240 pages into it so I'm going to probably add another 100 pages to it. I think it's a, a good thing.